Hi boys and girls, it's another e-learning day. Today I'm going to read you a book about opposites. And this book is called Big and Small. Big and Small by Kelly Doudna. An elephant, whoops, there we go. An elephant walks on the ground. It is big. A squirrel is small. It sits on a twig. Some pets are small. My hamster fits in my hand. Some pets are big. My dog is grand. The dog is a lot bigger than the hamster. We play in the leaves. Leaves are small. Trees are big. They change color in the fall. My baseball is small. I throw it in the air. My yellow ball is big. Make sure you play fair. What do you see that is big or small? I see a dog and I see a cat. The dog is big and the opposite of big is small. The way I like to say it is, if it's not big, it's small. The end. Okay, so your activity for opposite is to see if you can come up with some opposite words. Down at the bottom, if you scroll down, you'll find some words that Mrs. Eads put on the page. They are light. And the opposite, remember I said I like to do it this way. If it's not light, it's dark. And another one might be long. If it's not long, it's short. Next one would be near. If it's not near, like up close, it is far. And the next one would be new. If it's not new, it is old. Babies that are born are brand new. And Mrs. Eads is old. Been around for a long time. And the next one would be wet. If it's not wet, it is dry. See if you can say some opposites to your mom or your dad or your babysitter or whoever you're staying with and maybe you can come up with a few on your own. You don't have to write any down. Just talk about them with somebody. Have a great day today. This was Opposites.